so I'm gonna do a small little critique series of videos for Man, Economy, and the States by Murray Rothbard. And the reason I'm gonna do this is because there's a lot of things that I could talk about. See, um, I have, uh, I'm actually starting to look at this book, actually focus on the content, and there's some things that I disagree with, and my perspective of libertarianism and some stuff that I actually just want to address and hopefully if I ever do make an, some in the works making anti-statism circa 2012 if I ever plan on making a 2013 it'll probably be a lot more detailed than these 10 page books of no filler actually I might not even make one I might just do a collective critique on these series and then compile them together as a um, non-canon book to that series. Well, my guys might be arguing, well, you're a libertarian, why are you going to critique the writings of Murray Rothbard? Well, there's a lot of libertarian theories where I might not agree with them or actually tremendously disagree with them. Do I agree with Ron Paul, Ayn Rand, Stefan Molyneux? Um, Noam Chomsky, Adam Smith, John Locke, uh, who else might I disagree with? Let's see, Milton Friedman, and there's a lot of different guys that I, that I say Iron Man, regardless, there's a lot of stuff and a lot of libertarians who I have a lot of things where I disagree with them and I think that I should address some of these and I should start with this book because I've considered myself an Austrian for a very actually it's not a very long time like probably uh, I said that was my school thought for a few months well I thought that but I'm probably gonna do some critiques on the mainstream canon book for us anarcho-capitalists because well that's just the kind of guy I happen to be and I really do need some heavier more hard content so I'm gonna do a video series I'm gonna address it I think chapter by chapter and different fragments of these chapters and I'll do that because well that way I'll be doing something besides these little short videos and I think that'll make me more popular and more controversial give me a, a place and that's what I need I need a place because one thing is to be popular but another thing is to have a place and in order to do that I gotta really make a statement and what better than to actually look upon a book which is very popular and among us and make some comments about it after this I might do some critiques of Ayn Rand and Stefan Molyneux's writings and I can really go for a while. I know I don't have the best mic skills, I don't have the best charisma, so it'll be a little bit more analytical, a little bit less entertaining, unless you don't have interest in charisma as much. But there's a lot of popular anarchists who have very little charisma. And let's see, Alex Treckel, Aaron, Ryan Falk, one of those I'm a big fan of, uh, people with high charisma, Stefan Molyneux, Jacob Spinney, and Mike Shanklin are okay, but, um, my favorites usually happen to be the ones with very little charisma, and they're just really analytical, and technical. So I'm just gonna look at this, get into technicalities, break away from the rudiments, and, yeah. Maybe you'll enjoy it. 
So that's all I gotta say. Peace be with me. I wasted my life. Yeah. I'm so cold. <laughs>